Good morning, friends and family. I'm Deborah, and today is the first day of fall, so happy fall. We are going to dig out the sweet potatoes today. Even though it's the first day of fall, it kind of feels like Christmas morning. Uh, you never know what you're going to get. So let's start digging and see what kind of sweet potatoes we get. Big purple one. Ah. This one. Cool. Yay. Are we real chat? Isn't that it's massive? It's nice and straight, and it, you see, can see the purple inside. When we started, it was 52 degrees out, which is significant because that's my favorite number. Now it's warming up a little bit because the sun is coming out. I got two babies in the bed, so we're going to finish up before they wake up. guys we got another one and it's looking orange isn't that cool I had planted six sweet potato slips um, that were starts and only five of them made it so I had two of the orange sweet potatoes and I ended up having three of the purple sweet potatoes so you can see what the harvest is from just five plants this one looks like a little ball to me. So we're happy to get a lot of one from the garden. So these sweet potatoes, I bought slips from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds, that is rareseeds.com. Uh, last year I had started my own slips, but this year I just didn't get around to it, so I decided to buy some of theirs. I bought some regular sweet potatoes and some purple sweet potatoes. So it looks, so far it looks like the purple sweet potatoes are really outgrowing the regular orange sweet potatoes. So we'll see how that goes. These have been in the ground for a little over 120 days, which is what you want. And so some of them are getting big, some of them are getting small. So let's keep digging and see if we find any more. It looks a little straight with little roots. You can see it has a little baby thing right here. And it has a purple inside. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Here's another one that looks really cool with a little, it looks like an S to me. This one looks like a, a L again. It looks like a big little guy with like a full tummy. Doesn't it look funny? So it looks like we got them all dug out. And look, we had some Swiss chard that did so well growing with the sweet potatoes that I didn't realize was there until we dug up all the sweet potatoes. So let's see the harvest. 
So we have purple potatoes, that you can tell are the massive ones, and then we have the regular orange potatoes. So some small ones and some fingerling ones for the orange ones. And very clearly the purple ones did a lot better in terms of size than the orange ones. But this is just so exciting, like a present on Christmas morning. So now the sweet potatoes have to cure. So they need to get a thicker skin. When they come out of the ground, the skin is pretty thin. If you rub it, it'll just rub off. So it needs to get thicker and then it will intensify the sweetness of the sweet potatoes. So you let them sit at around 85 degrees and ideally 80% uh, humidity, which is gonna be kind of tricky right now because it is getting colder outside. So I will probably put these inside a plastic bag to create a little bit of humidity for them and leave them in the sun during the daytime and then we'll see how it goes. Happy first day of fall. So the bed that we took the sweet potatoes out of will now be planted with some greens that can withstand frost. So some kales, some mache, and I have miner's lettuce. Miner's lettuce is one of our favorite lettuces because it grows all through the winter. So we're gonna get those started so they get a nice root hold before our first frost comes. Awesome, hope you guys have a great day. Happy first day of fall, love you, bye-bye.